Miss Sorkowitz? Yes, Millicent? I was wondering if Ozzy and I could spend this period doing some language arts vocabulary research. Well, that sounds fine, Millicent. Here, take the hall pass. Thank you, ma'am. Research? Reading playground graffiti counts as research? I'll say. I've never seen this word before. Lemonade futures? It's a unique investment opportunity. You give me money now, and at some point in the future I'll give you lemonade. I think I'll just go home and get some juice. Some people just don't understand business. A day like any other. A bland landscape like any other. Those puny citizens little suspect the magnitude of our plan. Today, history shall be made. You've assembled all items essential to the plan, I see. All systems go. Excellent. By sundown tonight, everything will have fallen neatly into place. If everything goes well, our plan will change the course of history. Good thing recess is so short. Otherwise we might actually have to have a plan. Heaven forbid. New improved. Better. But our clothes and we promise you'll be really cool. Ha. Ah, like people are dumb enough to believe advertising promises anymore. That sort of stuff might have worked in the past. But modern viewers are smarter. We're cynical about images we see on TV. We understand the irony of it all. Like, image is lame. Dude so, like, bike a blamo soda pop and stuff. It'll make you, like, not thirsty. All right. I gotta get some of that right away. Boy, that was ironic even for irony. You have your own company? Yup, I've thought of everything. I've written up a company pledge not to ever make use of slave labor. Pollute, or threaten the well-being of any animals. I intend to earn the public's trust and business with my superior ethics. What does your company do, exactly? Oh, I dunno. Company stuff. I think that was what they call heavy foreshadowing, Ozzy. Ozzy, you won't believe what I just saw. I didn't get a good look. But it was big and scary and menacing and I felt a chill as it moved by. And I saw it go right towards your house. You mean my dad? Ha ha. I get stuck in the classroom sink once and everybody stops taking me seriously. I told Ozzy about the big scary thing I saw lurking around his house. But he wouldn't take me seriously. There's a man is loose in my neighborhood. And I'm the only one with the raw courage to face up to it. It's such a burden. Right now, I can only take solace in one thing. The monster is too big to get under my bed. I dunno maybe Aussie's right. Maybe there really is no neighborhood monster. Maybe it's a figment of my imagination maybe. What the? Oh hello Millicent. Then again. When was the last time a figment of my imagination darn near made me wet my pants? Pant pant. Steph and I saw it there's a huge monster in the neighbor. And it knew my name. It came out from behind the picket fence. It almost got me. I know how that is. The other day, a seventh level mage cast a cone of cold spell at me. Luckily I had a high agility roll. I don't know why I bother talking to you. Then this half-orc tried to use a scroll of leprosy on me.